Today I'm going to show you how to connect the Segment Anything 2 model, or SAM2, to Label Studio for image annotation. The first thing I'll need to do is host this model on the cloud using GPU, and we're going to assume for the sake of this tutorial that you've already followed the instructions to do that. Once your model is hosted, you can go into the settings of your project up here in the right hand corner and click on Model on the left sidebar. To connect your model, simply click the Connect Model button. First we'll give it a name, here we'll call it SAM2. And then we'll provide the backend URL, which is the URL to the container where your model is being hosted. Make sure you toggle on interactive pre annotations, and then you can validate and save. Now let's go back to our data manager and we'll begin labeling for visual anomalies. Once it loads, we can click into an image and begin labeling. As you'll see, there are three different boxes at the top of the screen, that each have their own labels in them. The first box is used if you want to manually label a region. To do so, you can select your label and select whatever tool you want to use, either brush strokes, key points, or rectangular bounding boxes, and go ahead and manually label whatever key points you'd like to label on your image using those tools. We're going to go ahead and delete those for now. In the second box, you can use magic key point detection to have the model automatically label your image for you. To do so, first we're going to click on this little squiggly button in the bottom corner, which will auto detect what kind of input we want to use. We're going to click on it until we toggle through to the key points image, which is this three little dots. From there, we'll select the label we want to use, in this case defect with the hotkey 2, and we're going to select on the image where we want to highlight, in this case this visual anomaly down here on the side. As you can see, once you click on the point, the model will automatically generate a mask for the area that you've annotated. Because we accept auto suggestions turned off right now, we can go ahead and automatically select um, to confirm or delete this annotation. Now, let's say we wanted to highlight a different section of this box, and in fact, we wanted to be able to change the annotation once it's been made. We'll go ahead, and like before, we will annotate a whole portion of this box. Ooh, that annotated far too much. Let's get rid of the background. Here, hold Option while you click on the part that you want to remove. And voila, the model will automatically regenerate the mask for you, uh, removing the section that you've clicked on. We're going to go ahead and delete this annotation again and we're going to not confirm the suggestion. Finally, in this third box, we can use the magic bounding box tool. So here we'll toggle until we get to this magic bounding box image, and we'll go ahead and click on the label that we want to use. And from here, we can draw a bounding box around the section we want to highlight, and the model will automatically highlight it for us. I hope this tutorial helped you understand how to connect SAM2 to Label Studio.